Alright guys, Saturday. It's, <laughs> it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I already went to the gym. I went to the gym earlier and I went to the food store. Picked up some food, not too much because I'm going home for Thanksgiving on Monday or Tuesday, so I didn't want to end up buying too much stuff and then it'd sit in the fridge when I'm not here and go bad. So I only spent like 30 or 40 bucks, but uh, got my post-workout meal in the oven. It's going to be really good. I'm going to show you guys when it's all done. And uh, yeah, for today, I sent my weekly summary and some pictures that I took this morning to Tyler, my coach, and that was after the refeed yesterday. And he said just to keep all my macros and stuff the same and cardio the same and see what happens next week. I only was down 0.51 pounds, like from average weigh-in of week 5 to average of week 6. So, not too much, but after that big drop of like over 3 pounds the week before, I think that it should be fine. And I guess we'll see what happens next week with my weight loss. So, hopefully that refeed day that I took yesterday will give me like a good boost and uh, just see what happens with my weight over the next couple of days. So Tyler actually told me to email him my weights in the morning just to uh, let him know what's been going on since my weight was kind of static this whole week. So that's pretty much what I've been doing so far today. For the rest of the day I'm probably just going to do some homework. I don't really have that much to do before break. So uh, I don't know, I can't wait to get home and just relax for a few days. Alright, food's done cooking. Damn, little pitas with like uh, fat-free mozzarella cheese and tomato sauce on them, like little mini pizzas. I was going to put like chicken and stuff on them, but that fat-free cheese has a shitload of protein in it, so I didn't really want that much. It came out to like 60 protein. I'll show you guys these pitas that I saw at the store. Damn. Joseph's Flax Oat Bran Whole Wheat Pita. The macros for it are, let me put this down, in one of them, 2 fat, 8 carbs, 4 fiber, 6 protein. That's pretty crazy macros. I've never seen them before, but I'm definitely going to start buying them more often. So the total macros for this were 14 fat, 62 carbs with 26 fiber, and 64 grams of protein. So it's going to be really good. I probably could have... Uh, Spread the cheese out a little more over them, but whatever. It's going to be mad good. Can't wait to eat it all. Going to wash it down with Fresca. Black cherry. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's Sunday today, November. November 24th. November 24th. Just drove about an hour to New Britain, Connecticut to meet some guy to do a Craigslist transaction. Never done a Craigslist transaction before, so it was a little shady. The person kept sending me smiley faces through text, so I didn't know what to expect. But it ended up being like a 16-year-old girl with braces. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was mad funny. I didn't expect that at all. Brought my That's boy Sam cool. with me. Check out what I got. That Canon Rebel T3i. Frank actually, found, Frank was the one that wanted it because I have like I have the handy cam that I use, but Frank wanted a camera to use and we could use it for like our powerlifting meet and stuff coming up in the next few weeks. It's definitely a much better camera than this. I just find this a lot more convenient, so that's why I kind of wanted this over the DSLR. But this camera is going to be pretty sick. It's dead right now. I kind of wanted to try it out and see how it is, but I'm definitely going to give it a shot when I get home. So yeah, Frank found the person on Craigslist in Connecticut and texted me and was like, can you go meet this person? I said, yeah, so just, uh, Frank just emailed the person yesterday and I just picked it up today, so it was a really easy and quick thing to do. And it wasn't really too expensive at all, so that was definitely a good thing. And, uh... Public place. Yeah, it met in a public place, but the fact that it was like a 16-year-old girl was just kind of funny. So, yeah, that was, that's what I've been doing all morning. Left my house at school at around 9 and it's 10 o'clock right now. So probably going to be like another hour on the way back. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Damn, girl. What are you doing at Bed Bath & Beyond? Getting a 
a sponge. You know what you should get? What? The ice tray thing. Oh, oh. damn, good idea, good idea. Oh, what about this Christmas candle? music for Thanksgiving. What about this? Just made a solid purchase at Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's an air humidifier. Yeah, humidifier. Because my room's been so dry with the heat on in the winter, it's crazy. So hopefully this will help me. I always wake up like so dry and even like dehydrated because of it. So hopefully this will help. All right, set up the humidifier. I don't know if you guys can like hear it. I don't know. It doesn't really like do much. There. You can, now you can see it working. Hopefully, it'll help keep help keep my room nice and moist because I've been waking up so dehydrated and so dry. It's like my skin and my face and everything. So hopefully this will help because I'm really getting sick of it. It was pretty cheap. It was like 25 bucks. So if you guys need one of these, go to Bed Bath & Beyond. It was like 20, it was 30. And I had 20% off, so 20% of $30 is what, $6? So it's 24 bucks. so if you guys see it, if you guys need one, go to Bed Bath & Beyond. Get that one, it's a two gallon tank, they say it lasts like 24 hours. Which is pretty good, so you don't have to fill the thing up every few hours.